Thanks, Harry. We begin, though, this morning with that massive crib recall that we were the first to tell you about yesterday. This involves more than 2 million cribs here in the U.S. and Canada, 1.2 million in this country alone. It is the single largest crib recall in U.S. history. Consumer correspondent Susan Copen broke the story yesterday. She is back with all the details this morning. Good morning, Maggie. The cribs are made by a company called Storkcraft, which is based in Canada. All of the cribs have drop-down sides that can malfunction, and they were sold at some of the most popular stores in America. And we have placed numerous calls to the company, but we were unable to reach anybody for a comment, Maggie. All right, since we have a crib here, let's show parents how kids are getting stuck. Yeah, that's the number one question parents have been asking me. So. The plastic breaks, this side moves away from the mattress and the headboard, and the baby rolls in its sleep and just mm. sort of gets wedged in there. Their face is pushed up against the mattress and they suffocate. What would the free repair kits do for us? The repair kit, if you were able to get one, you it will immobilize this side. So you will no longer be able to move this up and down. It will be in a locked position. So you have four static sides on your crib. But no word on how long it could take to get I've, these kits. I've heard that it's been very difficult to get on the website and try to get in touch with anybody at the company. We tried, but it, it, we'll see what happens. The repair kits are out there, they're free, and they are for you. All right, Susan Copen, thank you. Doing the turkey thing. Every Thanksgiving, do you fall asleep after the meal? <laughs> I know you're, I know where you're going with this because everybody blames the tryptophan in exactly the right. turkey. Do you fall asleep? I think it probably has more to do with the wine. <laughs> it could be. That's exactly the question that we're going to pose our doctor to our doctor Jennifer Ashton. She's here this morning to help explain why we always want to doze off after the meal. Also ahead this morning, we're going to tell you about a man who truly lived. He finally was able to let doctor no, doctors know he was alive. But first. The Early Show continues now from the General Motors building in New York City. It is 7.45, time for this morning's Health Watch. And this morning, the truth about tryptophan. Will eating turkey this Thanksgiving put you to sleep? Here to talk turkey is our own Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Good morning Good again. morning, Maggie. So tryptophan gets the blame every single year. Every year. Is it the culprit? Not really, is the, is the short answer. Actually, tryptophan is an essential amino acid. It's found in a lot of things, not just turkey. It's found in chicken, peanut butter, cheddar cheese, milk even, which is why, you know, when your grandmother said, have a warm glass of milk, that's maybe what she was thinking. Oh. But it really, it really is not the major reason that everyone passes out after they stuff themselves it, in Thanksgiving. It does make you slightly sleepy. Well, again, in isolation, yes, okay. it triggers something called serotonin, which is kind of a feel-good, kind of nice um, hormone that's made in the brain, but it doesn't work in isolation, and a lot of things can make you sleepy, including the massive amount of carbohydrates that most people ingest during Thanksgiving meal. And what about Harry's theory, which I happen to agree with, the wine? Yeah, I agree with that, too, but actually there's even a better theory in terms of anatomy and physiology that I think is really more at play during Thanksgiving, which is that anytime you eat, a lot of your body blood flow goes to your stomach to your digestive tract to help absorb and process that meal and that therefore is not going to your brain so again the more you eat the more blood flow is going to your mm. stomach and then also we have to remember not just the wine and the blood flow but most people then go to the sofa after Thanksgiving exactly we're not going out and doing something so again that brings on a nice nap so I for one am not gonna not eat a big meal in, in light of this information <laughs> that you've just I. given me so what else can we do to avoid getting sleepy or do we just deal with it well first of all I think that's part of the fun of Thanksgiving is taking that nice little nap but certainly you know if you're cleaning up the kitchen it's hard to be tired and fall asleep so you can get in the kitchen and are do you some talking dishes. to your husband right now yeah. Rob are you listening well he cooks so I clean up oh, okay. uh, also you can go outside take a nice walk throw the football around before you watch the football on TV all those things good ideas all good stuff thank yeah. you so much you Jen. Max. coming up if you're getting <clears throat> excuse me if you're ready to hit the road this holiday our own travel guru Peter Greenberg